to vlogmas day seven it's been a week of vlogmas have you guys been liking it i have a very mundane normal life and I've been watching so many people's vlogmas and I realized I'm not the only one. I was honestly really worried about doing vlogmas for that reason, but I realized that even the biggest YouTubers live like I do. I mean, kind of. So I don't feel as bad, but we're gonna do a little outfit of the day. Woo so this sweater is from Torrid, obviously loving that and we have these really pretty earrings that kind of match with the purple color kind of um those are from walmart i just have my hair in half up half down situation i'm sure you could tell by the sound of my voice still sick still trying to get over it so yesterday i went live on instagram and i just want to be the one right now to apologize. I said some things on there that I probably shouldn't have. Directly to you, Michael, I have no room to talk at all. Um, I slept on it and I was like, really? Cause I know how it feels. People constantly talking about your weight and I shouldn't have done that. It was more like a bitter moment. It's like having so many reaction channels constantly react to me. I just, I reacted in a negative way and I shouldn't have done that. There's no excuse for it, but I do want to apologize because it's like, I'm not that person and I should just not go live because I get so overwhelmed and ran with anxiety that I say things I shouldn't. That's actually something I'm working on that if I'm ever put in an anxiety situation or a situation that overwhelms me, I need to learn how to react better because it's like, I have no filter when that happens. and. Like, I really do apologize, like, from the bottom of my heart. I know a lot of reaction channels disagree with the way that I live my life and who I am. And some of the reaction channels are very educational, <laughs> if you will, because they almost make me want to do better just so I can not only prove them wrong, but prove myself wrong. But yeah, I just wanted to apologize and I hope you can accept my apology. If you don't, that's fine. Um, I could definitely understand that, but I'm not that person. Like, honestly, I'm not gonna sit there and judge someone for something that I've struggled with for so long. You know, I feel like people with weight problems should come together instead of like tearing each other apart. And I felt like that was just really rude of me. So I'm sorry. So I have no idea what I'm making right now but I cut up a potato so that's currently cooking on the stove and I'm gonna do like a potato taco bowl I really don't know I had leftover lean I don't know why I said lean I guess because it says it on the package lean um, ground chicken with taco seasoning some onion use some jalapenos have ourselves some tapatio, some cheese. So, I don't know how this is gonna go, but I'll, I'll show you guys. Okay. Potatoes are done. It's one potato, and it was a big one. I'm gonna put the meat. And then some cheese, which is fiesta blend. I don't know about this cheese. It has a sour smell. Hold on, I think we have more cheese. We always buy cheese and we never finish it. <laughs> so let's see if this one, because this one's new. Oh yeah, babe, that cheese you used, I think is old. Yeah, it has a sour smell. So 
So I'm going to put cheese. And then I'm going to put it in the microwave so it melts. And then jalapenos. Yum. Oh, I love jalapenos. I love spicy things, as you guys can tell. Okay. Jalapenos are so good. They're green and spicy, just like they should. <laughs> oh my God, I need to go to sleep. Okay, so onion. All of this is pretty explanatory, but I like to show you guys some of the things I make. Because, you know, there are other people out there who have a weird taste bud like me. I can't believe I said that the other day. And then some tapatio. Here we go. do si -do. I think it looks good. So we have an ongoing joke in this house <laughs> that when someone says something that's like, how would you call that, babe? Like low-key shade? Okay, I'll show you guys an example. So Becky does not like onion. She doesn't like jalapeno. She doesn't like hot sauce. So I sat down with my glorious food and she goes, that looks disgusting. So when someone throws shade in this house, <laughs> we always say, that was a hate comment. It's just like a thing that we do. I don't, I don't know how it happened or like where it like started. I think I started to be honest. I should get merch that just like really cute, just in like cursive hate comment. Oh my God. But you guys wouldn't understand that fully because you guys don't live with us. But honestly, it's pretty freaking funny. Um, oof, your girl is swollen today. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I wanted to do a taste test because I've never had this before. <laughs> Sometimes I just come up with shit, you know? Okay. Two jalapenos in that bite. Girl ain't mad about it. Mmm. I mean, how could you not like this? You know, I love potatoes. I just boil them with some water. Um, I had to keep adding water, obviously, because it evaporates. It was just very simple to make. Mm. It's so good. It'd be fun. Um... I saw Eric film a video last night where he tried a subscriber's recipe. I feel like that would be super fun and I should do something like that because A, I don't follow recipes. B, I think it would be kind of funny. Mmm. So good. I love a good taco potato bowl.
So we have a wreath on our door, gingerbread house and some other doodads, that cute little box. So these are actually like placemats for your table, but I thought it would be super cute to put on here with his candles. And Becky, Becky actually thought of putting the Christmas tree right here. And I was like, oh my God, that's so smart. And then over here, this is my little wiener dog, my snowman. And we have stockings. Ricky put the small ones up and these two are mine. Mine is being held by reindeer. Over here, I just put this fella. Eric did some really cute pine cone decorations. So this is where it gets into the goods. So I did a lot, like I went all out really. Um, I set all this up, super cute. This is Eric's. So this is Becky's cute creation. I seriously love it so much. And then over here, I did this, a little winter wonderland moment. Oh, my earrings, don't mind that. This is Eric's little candle. It went perfect with the winter wonderland theme. And to make it look like snow, these are actually ornaments and there's three in there. So I had this garland and I was like, oh my God, what are we gonna do with it? And then I was like, oh my God, we should put it around this. So Eric put it on here for me. So I thought it looked super cute. We have a little glittery reindeer here. So I was looking at the mirror and I was like, what can we do on the mirror? And I had this extra garland, so I put two and two together. So I was like, Eric, oh my God, we should put the garland around the mirror. So he did that for me. And look at our table. It's so cute. This is the tablecloth that Becky chose. The centerpiece was actually made by her mom, which I bought from her. Okay, so it is time for comment of the day. You have to take into consideration how her weight is distributed. Her face and upper body will show signs of weight loss long before her legs and backside. It might take about 50 pounds or more before everyone starts to notice a significant difference. Someone my size, it's definitely going to take a lot longer to notice weight loss. I recently read a comment where someone's like, at her size, you should notice her losing weight quicker. And I was like, what? I have a lot more weight to lose and I have a bigger body. So when I lose 100 pounds, it's going to look like maybe I've lost 50. Do you get what I'm saying? I think your food always looks delicious. Good to see you moving around. I can see a difference already in your size. Yay. I'm also on a weight loss journey. Watching you has been a lot of help. You're such an inspiration. Thank you so much, Jessica. Like, I appreciate that so much. And if I can be an inspiration to you, that makes me the happiest of all. Like, I just want to inspire people. And I wish you luck on your weight loss journey because I know exactly how hard it is. It's very hard to lose weight. It just takes a lot of strength. And I know you got it, girl. What is your Instagram? It's raritycat, R-A-R-I-T-Y-C-A-T. You can buy the Weight Watcher badge for 10 bucks on eBay. Okay. You look like you actually gained even more weight. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... <laughs> Comments like this crack me up because it's so not true. Like, uh, that's funny. How is she logging her weight without weighing herself? I weigh myself every single day, sometimes twice a day. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.